Hey guys, on today's episode of French Border Gano, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly and easily, but more importantly, safely pick up your French Bulldog every time. Now, before I show you how to pick your French Shep, there's just a couple of important things that you should know about how not to pick your French Shep. So, if Claude's going to behave himself today, I'm just going to show you a few things. Up here. Come on, Claude, up here. Up here. Now, come here, come here, good boy. Now, don't ever lift your Frenchie up with your hands under their armpits. That can actually cause some strains and ligament damage under there. Another thing people often think is okay, but actually isn't, is to pick a dog up by a scruff. Now, whilst as young puppies, their mother would have done that, um, in adult dogs, it can actually be very painful as well. So those are the things you shouldn't do. So there are actually two ways you can pick up a French Bulldog, and it kind of depends on how heavy your dog is. With dogs that are 25 pounds or less, I'm going to show you that method first. Now, Claude is probably, I think he might be around 28 pounds, but he's always found this method more comfortable. So, I'm going to show you that now. And what I do is, if he's going to play today, I'll put my dominant arm, because I'm right-handed, underneath and through his legs. Now that lets me then grab on his chest like this. And then I'll put the other arm underneath and I'll lift, and as you can see, he's got the chest held there and he's quite comfortable. And I've got another hand around on the back side here too. Another way you can lift up dogs that might be a little bit heavier, um, probably with larger dogs really, is this method. Now Claude doesn't particularly like this method, so I'm going to show it to you very quickly, but essentially you have one arm around the front and one at the back, and then you lift. But he's never ever been comfortable with that method, and in fact, I don't really like it because when I've got my arm around the front of him here, it means his legs aren't free. So if he was to try and jump out, he's not going to be able to put his legs down and land safely. Another thing I advise you to do as well is create some kind of verbal cue so your dog knows you're just about to lift him. Um, imagine if someone just came and lifted you up and you weren't expecting it. You might not like it and if it's an unexpected thing, you might struggle. So with Claw, we've always used the verbal command of lift and he usually knows then he's going to get picked up. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe because each week my son and I will be putting videos up online showing you how you can take care of your Frenchie plus some uh, video of the adventures that we have with Claude and Lola. See you next time.